Oh! Wrong arrows. Wrong arrows. Wrong arrows. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, a thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. Okay, this hollow projector is just going to be Margot again, yeah? Hello. Okay, I'm yes it is. Okay. And this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that got... Okay, uh, text mail from Elizabeth. Full steam ahead. Uh, to Margot Shen. Full steam ahead. Margot. If I doubted your brilliance in the slightest, I wouldn't have picked you as, a, as the Hephaestus Alpha. You need to stop worrying about your age and communication style. You are who you are. Have confidence in yourself. You know what you're doing. Case in point, the latest draft of your plan for the construction and stocking of bootstrap silos to store away raw materials is excellent. This, combined with your design of the AM Foundry Core and the Foundry Site Selection Plan, add up to a comprehensive plan. It's time to start construction. One detail. Consult with... a Aomid Aquilo, before you start finalize the silo inventories, Hephaestus' first task will be to fabricate robots that will construct waveform broadcast towers Minerva will use to transmit the deactivation codes, so any exotic materials needed for the towers should be accounted for in the inventory plan. Elizabeth. I will use to make lots and oh. lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except oh, this is Artemis. Um, Artemis makes animals. So like you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition. Uh, mail from Margot Shen. Simulation results. To Elizabeth. Wow, you weren't kidding about Gaia's predilection for animal morphologies. Sure, not totally unexpected, given the rough natural terrain of her bots we'll have to navigate, but I agree that there's something deeper going on here. Her designs aren't just functional. They feel almost like, well, tributes to the world that comes to mind. Is, is the word that comes to mind, as though she's already mourning their loss, and not just for the disappearing fauna of our time, but creatures from the fossil record too. References to megafauna in some of her designs, so cool, which is why she's making like dinosaurs and saber-toothed tigers. Well, whatever Gaia thinks up, Hephaestus will empower her to build it. I wish we could still be around in a century or two to see what she makes, Margot. Virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. What's, what's, what's this? What's this? What's this? Metal shards. Designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. So, Hephaestus isn't really... 
really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Is that everything in here? I think so. In simulation, she's doing some very Let's let's leave the Margot Margo hologram to herself. Okay, this is... I'm just above where I was before. Oh! Hello! Data point? Data point! Okay. Hopefully we'll just make a big circle. Oh. oh. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobeck's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Keep looking. I mean, it's... More eclipse. Careful now. I mean, it's a thousand years old. Could we not just break the glass? Okay. Oh! Wrong arrows! Wrong arrows! Wrong arrows! I don't think I can shoot through here. Can I? No, okay, I can't shoot through there. That looks like an arrow slit, but it is a solid wall. No, I want. Okay. Tell me I can get into Elizabeth's office and get those. human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. Um, okay. What, what happened to all of that? Capsulated DNA. Uh, from Samina to Elizabeth. 
The winner is Encapsulated DNA. Over the past 10 days, I've performed an exhaustive review of data storage solutions. Magnetic, optical, quantum, even that Eternity tech that FAS was shilling a year or so ago. But even... But every other solution has one or more fatal shortcomings. Too heavy to transport, too massive to install in the allotted space, too power intensive over the centuries, too prone to failure past 300 to 400 years, etc. Encapsulated DNA will easily hold the 40 plus zeta bytes we're projecting for Apollo. There's still many details to finalize, of course, but to start with, we need to select the inert materials in which we'll embed the molecules, already testing 16 candidate materials, as well as design and fabricate the power systems and sealed reliquaries that will keep the DNA at minus 18 degrees celsius for a thousand plus years so as long so long as i can assure you that you didn't fact so long as i assure you that it didn't factor into my decision may i confess that i deem it entirely fitting indeed proprietous that we be using the very building blocks of life to preserve human knowledge for the mecha from mechanized extinction it's not just ironic but heroic life as the hero beating back the forces of oblivion in any case much to do until next time peace be with you samina Okay, let me just... I'm just gonna run back up quickly, because somehow the Eclipse did not hear me doing any of that. I'm just gonna see if I can get any of those data points through Elizabeth's windows. Because I passed by a little bit more. I don't know if they can hear me from up here. I don't think they can see me. Cause that guy's definitely looking right over here. But, okay. Let me just... I feel like I'm just walking away from these data points and it's stressing me out. No, they're too far. They're too far. We gotta be able to circle back and get in there. Also, what kept distracting me was then the two like really major cutscenes. Uh, Aloy was back in her like regular outfit, the one that Teb made her, um, which was interesting. Uh, and not the, not the Nora Protector gear, but she is in like every other type of cutscene. Okay. Let's see. Alright, so... Samina's... No, oh no, Samina, it's okay. It's okay, you don't have to... You don't have to tell me again. How are the Eclipse not hearing her? <laughs> Uh, from Samina to Elizabeth, uh, Apollo update. Over the past two months, the full benefit of our procurement of the copy of Homer Archive from Far Zenith has made itself known, and as a result, all of Apollo's key deliverables are on schedule. Apollo has already surpassed 40 million discrete data entries and continues to grow. The physical science modules are effectively complete, with soft science modules close behind. World history, cultural data, and media archives are also on schedule. Language preservation is wrapping up a bit ahead of schedule. Due to falling short of our goal to preserve 4,500 languages, I suppose the tragic early loss of Papua New Guinea doomed that goal from the outset, with the attendant curricula development about to begin. Speaking from the heuristic curricula, they are performing well in testing, with children and adolescents demonstrating high levels of engagement with and trust in the Aristotle and Apasia personae. Personally, I will find them I find them highly engaging, especially when they debate. I wish half of my professors had been so entertaining. Peace be with you, Samina. That's a different, that's not Apollo's sigil. This was a bad idea. <laughs> that guy just hurt his own buddy. Yeah, you want to keep coming this way? Yeah. yeah we want to keep going this way? Really, buddy? Okay. 
right, we got two more. And they are the big boys. Oh boy. Okay. Your fire. I want that gun, please. Fear the Long once more. Okay. In what should have been a cave of wonders. Look around. See if anything is left. Drop that, and we are gonna loot all the bodies. Except not for that. Okay. Okay. I gotta get into Elizabeth's office. just come online? I heard something buzz. Aha, uh -huh, that's that's the way forward. So let's let's have a look at what's in this middle section. Aha uh -huh. Hello. Dr. Sobek. Please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross-reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest-ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory. A falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks, by throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world listening to this message, please note that I am sorry and that I wish you well. Sincerely, Aaron Harris. I hate that it says stacks closed, unable to archive. That sucks. Like he just he just wanted everybody to re remember. Like he just wanted to be held accountable. figure out how I get back to that door because <laughs> I'm now lost. Oh man. Let's keep going. So clearly all mother must be the cradle. Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. 
the ultimate killer app. Now, why am I not surprised that it's Travis who made Hades? Travis is awful. Why did we let him do anything? I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the what? Just bum crazy, ain't it? What the what? Well, yeah. No, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine your Gaia. 200 years from now, and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside, while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocate it. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then... Only then does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, Try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. <laughs> so welcome to Hades. Welcome. To the void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a Pharaoh Titan, getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. Okay, we need to, we need we need to turn Hades off and back on again, because Hades doesn't realize that. We have a fine biosphere that it's working. Okay, noise complaints from Tate to Sobek. Uh, color me confunded, Lizzie. Bashcore, anyone who says the old TT codes have to Bashcore is straight up lying and you know it. Old Trav don't have no truck with the commercialized razzle dazzle, nuh uh. Heck, I'd rather guzzle a liter of Satarum runoff than listen to any gray swarm for 30 seconds, hand to God, and swear on my mama's grave, and she was religious. Nah, that ain't Bashkor blast in the Hades lab, shaking the walls, rattling folks' teeth. It's death metal, girl. Classical music. 80s and 90s mostly. Got with me some Dutch deathcore, some Japanese gore grind, some Swedish cannibal-themed stuff, too. Stop by if you want to listen, or heck, just come within 50 meters of the lab. Ain't no bash core. You'll see or hear, rather. It's the screech and wrens in the air, and feel in the throbbing pulse of the floor and walls and ceiling swallowing you up like you just was Jonah trapped in the gullet of gothic deathfish. Hallelujah. And for those requests to turn it down, no can do, Lizzie. This is how I code. Turn down my death metal? Headphones exist, Travis. Might as well give up stimulants, chocolate malts, and industrial accident vids. Last time I heard you were supposed to be coding- I was supposed to be coding Hades down here. Am I really supposed to code an extinction protocol without death metal to inspire me? Nuh-uh, I don't think so. Stay cool, Trav. Not a fan of this man. Not a fan. Hades protocol. Tate here. Just popped three blues and I earned it. Finally figured out a Goldilocks solution to Gaia's rather extreme executive authority. If that ain't worth 10 to 12 hours in dream time, what is? Before this, every usurpation protocol I designed failed in simulation because it was either too hard or too soft. Too hard and it degraded the Gaia core. Sure, it pried her figurative fingers off the figurative driving wheel so Hades could take control, but by breaking her fingers. Sometimes her arms too, so that couldn't fly. Everything depends on Gaia taking control back after Hades is done with its business. 
business. So I had to find a solution that didn't leave Gaia any worse for the wear. Too soft, and Gaia only pretended to relinquish control. In simulation after simulation, Hades would take command of the terraforming system and reverse operations, only have Gaia lurk in the background, quietly re-reversing processes and falsifying telemetry to hide its interference. Sneaky, I swear ain't nothing Gaia wouldn't do to keep life going, even when it's just simulating plant life. Turns out the just right solution is to isolate Gaia in a protective code shell, preserving its integrity, and then unseat it from the command position so Hades can slip into the figurative captain's chair and work its magic. Uh, those blues are coming on strong right now. I'm not sure they're describing it's clear, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. You're pretty sure it'll work. Oh god, it didn't work. Yeah, those blues are plenty strong now. I'm gonna go get some sleep and go and bed. I'll be back tomorrow, alligators. Oh, okay. I mean, I get, I get the point of Hades, but like, something has told Hades that we're, it needs to activate, and it doesn't. Um, from Samina to Travis, CC Elizabeth, Archive Abuse, Mr. Tate. This mail concerns Apollo Archive Submission 00002387 Your 666 submission in just five days, and oh, what a doozy. Despite earlier warnings, re inappropriate materials, you chose to submit 265 holographic remasters of acknowledged classics of extreme exploitation cinema. Allow me then to thank you on two counts. One, for giving me the pleasure of rejecting your submission, thereby consigning your favorite Eastern European torture flicks and their ilk to a dust heap of oblivion. Truly warms my heart to know that I have saved future humanity from the ordeal of experiencing not one, but all 16, exclamation mark, installments of Making a Millipede. Don't worry, the Pasolini material has already been preserved, extreme perhaps, but art. Two, for clarifying a concept that has long been ambiguous and ethically fraught for archivists such as myself, the definition of obscenity. You have freed me from the subjective quagmire embodied in Judge Potter's famous utterance, I know it when I see it. Thanks to you, I can now apply a single objective criteria, and if Travis Tate submitted it, it's obscene. Accordingly, I have directed Apollo staff to summarily reject all of your future submissions sight unseen. Perhaps you might invest the time you would have spent preparing further submissions on, oh, I don't know, your assigned work. We all have a word to sa world to save after all, or the rest rest of us do anyway, Dr. Samina. Oh, I like, I like Dr. Samina. Dr. Samina's cool. Looks like the only way onwards. Okay. Oh, oh, data point, data points, data points. Oh, uh -huh. hello. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances. But, as one of the authors of the Accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development. All of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So. Si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. Okay. 
Okay, FZ Chambers. To Elizabeth, from Patrick to Elizabeth. The exogenic chambers arrived two days ago. I spent the last 36 hours examining them and poring over technical documentation. They're a revelation. Astonishing. I don't know what you had to give Far Zenith in trade to get these chambers, but it was worth it. In a single leap, their embryologists have vaulted past 50 years of technological shortcomings. The risk of ECMO resolved, nutrition diversity resolved, hormonal stability resolved, 12 other risk areas resolved. Before I examine these chambers, I considered the Odyssey to have been a fool's errand. But if the rest of FC's technology is this far, this level, well, a human colony around Sirius doesn't seem so impossible after all. Mass fabrication of the chambers will present a number of challenges, and I'm confident that they can be resolved. I'm going to rest for a few hours and then get back to it. Expect a fabrication plan within 42 hours, 48 hours. Oh, sorry. From Patrick to Elizabeth, Cradle Servitor Person A. Development of the artificial Person A for the Cradle Servitors, Nurturer, Disciplinarian, Healer, continues at a good place. We are targeting Turing 0.4 for these constructs. This should allow low-grade empathy and limited improvisation without undermining adherence to codified behavior sets. The stimulus-driven switching of Person A, however, is proving a greater software challenge than anticipated, especially concerning our especially concerning our entrenched feedback loops between the disciplinarian and the healer personae. I've also attached reports of the incident where a servitor running a mother personae intervened on a disciplinarian servitor's behalf, a parental argument, if you will. Amusing on first glass, perhaps, but deeply concerning. I've attached a comprehensive plan for corrupting these interactive protocol shortcomings in just data corrupted. Oh, it's, uh, it's raised by wolves all over again. No room. From Patrick to Elizabeth, Cradle Sealed. Eleuthia 01 was successfully sealed before the swarm advancing across Xingxiang province could detect it. Ping back. Okay, so we do have them all over the world. So we do have people in China. That's good. Um, ping, ping back from crucial systems is good for our maiden voyage a success. Regards my disputes with the betas over zygote selection. Of course, I understand we have limited overhead to run simulations of gene flow in our future humans. We can all agree there's a market for, for refinement of cradle, future cradle populations. Uh, in addition to personally overseeing completion of Eleuthia 2 sites inside Mount Namuli, I formulate and propose a modified zygote selection plan within a week. Patrick. More data points. No more data points. Okay, let's continue. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation. Of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. All Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Yeah, if we can get a new copy of that, we should be able to get inside All Mother. Should have brought a cart. We should have brought a cart, yeah. What's that one? Um, is that the wave? Is that the Poseidon one? Okay. Oh. Up we go. Good, a chance for me to fall off of something. I think that's the wave. I think that's the Poseidon wave. Ha! 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 Looks like it used to hold something. Some component that got removed. Us would benefit from antilopony morphologies. Though capric forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek. As I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, 
I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction Event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... causes me to experience... a grief... that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. Aww. Oh, I love Gaia. Gaia wanted to make make dinosaurs. He will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you? I mean, yeah, what if you fail? Like, I mean, what if you succeed? Everything's gonna die anyway. Okay, that thing said pry open the door. Let me go grab the data point. Oh, 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 oh. That's that, okay, that's that pry open the door. Okay, let's grab this. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? No Your mistakes. mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She yeah. was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Pharaoh's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, Liz, just do what it says. Yeah, your mistake, Ted. You did this to us. What is... Okay, we gotta get in there. So there's more data points in there. That's where we came in. What is the... Oh. Okay, let's... Let's get this door open. Okay, uh, from Elizabeth to all alphas, Odyssey has failed. Some terrible news, I'm afraid Far Zenith has informed me that the Odyssey mission has failed. Last night, telemetry, telemetry indicated a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drivers spun up to depart the solar system. The ship, its crew, its cargo of zygotes and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo were all lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of the human species and earthly life. We must succeed. Elizabeth. Can't carry more. Artemis status. From Charles to Elizabeth. 
It's coming along, Liz. I'm positive of it. If those words can still mean anything. I had my sleeves rolled up, negotiating with frozen zoos for their samples. So many species trapped in ghoulish hologram dioramas, suspended in what-ifs. More than 14,000 that went extinct between 2000 and 2043. Oh, we started mapping out primary succession, selecting the pioneer organisms for a balanced and sustainable biosphere. Uh, microorganisms and insects, rabbits and hawks, foxes and wolves. We have not seen any wolves. Just saying. We've seen ravagers, no wolves. Thousands more will have to wait their turn until our new gen generation can be entrusted with the duty of restoring them so they can return to the world that this time will understand the concept of conservation before it's too late. There's already been too many la too lates. We lost a whole collection team during the swarm breakthrough in Myanmar. The samples that we were lost were, well, irreplaceable. But thanks to you, Liz, the circle of life will bend, not break. The earth was a lifeless rock before, and someday it will be again. But for now... But not now. Not like this. Not on our watch. Ronson. Okay. Access. I think that's everything. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. I hate him. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Why are you like this, Silence? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Yeah, we need to just bail. Oh. You look, uh, <laughs> unique. No! Yeah, we need to just bail. Can we just bail? <laughs> oh, we can't just bail. Still alive. Good. Oh, Ellis. You. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> Um. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist. A simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? Oh. See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well for a savage his name was rost and he was a better man than you could ever hope to be the better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground <laughs> no it wasn't him 
I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts. Haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. You're a puppet. <laughs> some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings. A pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable, if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then open this cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East. To rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the Sacred Land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Okay, were there the whole- oh no, we've- we've time jumped. <laughs> He looked really different with that helmet on. I did not recognize him. Rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And 
When it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Oh, we're just whole ass bringing them into the city now. Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these prowl in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Behemoth. Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the Behemoth. Mighty is the Behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! Oh, yeah, I thought it was just gonna open up from about there. Alright. Okay, what's the plan here? Okay. What's the plan? Up on the platform? Okay, up there. How? Oh. Ow. Okay. What's up there? Can I... Can I get it to crash into this pillar? Hey, buddy. Can you come this way? Yeah. Okay. 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 We're just gonna, we're just gonna nope roll. We're just gonna nope roll away. Hey, buddy, come this way. Come this way. Aha! Bullfight boss. I said them to put it in one one box for me. Okay. Yeah. Let's put on a show. Ow. Behemoth week two again. Strength to shock. Should not have done that. Okay, weak freeze canister, weak to freeze, force loader. Oh, okay, so we've got a force loader. Those components on the sides of its head. They've got something to do with his lift attacks. Ow. Tripcaster. Ow. Okay. 
come this way? No, 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 no. You want to come this way? Don't get so close to the behemoth. That's that's the answer to this. Oh, wow. Alright, does not matter how close I am to the behemoth. That one hurt. That one hurt. Don't stand in front of it when it does that. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, come on. All right. Oh, okay, okay. Back up, 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 back up. Okay, back up, back up, back up. Stand in front of it, don't stand in front of it, don't go right in front of it. Alright. Okay, don't stand in front of it, don't stand in front of it. Ooh. I don't even know what I just blew up. Can I loot it? No? Okay. What now, buddy? Silence. Shadows. Kill her. Okay. Kill her. Why leave it to them? Come get me yourself! I'll take a dramatic rescue. Okay, I'm mad at him, but I will take a dramatic rescue. Yes, he is. He overrides machines, too! <sighs> okay. Fine. Silence is fine. So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. 
The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Danny oh. sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun ring at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. So, was Silence originally Banuk? Because he's got the, like... He's got the embedded wires the way that, like, the Banuk characters we've met have. I think that's where he's from originally from. Um, but also, how did you find me? Like, Silence literally broke your focus next to you, Aloy. Like, you were... It was, it was functioning when you were captured. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupted to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Helis recognized you back in the Sun Ring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. <sighs> right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. He cares. Yeah. He cares a little bit. Okay. We got we got a new outfit. Let's 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 try our new outfit on. What's this new outfit look like? Okay. Let's, let's drop, let's drop off, okay. All right, I got a cool little mask. I got some cool armor plating. Okay. Machine site discovered long leg, where are we? Okay, that's the Zero Dawn alternate, oh, alternate entrance, so I can go back. Trader's bounty. Okay, so it didn't lock, it didn't lock us out of that side quest. That was what I worry, I, I always worry when if you like don't do all the side quests before the main quest, it'll lock you out of it. Um, so we've got two quests we can do over here. Um, at some point, we got a tall neck over here. We got some s settlements down here. But uh, I think I think that's where it's gonna cut it. We're gonna just cut it for today because oh, that was a lot. Oh, I may cut this into two episodes. We'll see how long it is after the edit. But um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna get on this get on this strider 
And we'll just get this nice, nice afternoon sunlight as I outro this episode. Um, that was, oh gosh. Like, <laughs> so all, all, all life became extinct for like 300 years. Stop blowing. While, while Gaia and her, her friends were making the world again. So there's my 300 years. 300 years of just desolation. And like, that was just, the whole episode was just mood whiplash. Just like, things were exciting and things were hopeful and things were sad and things were horrible and... Oh, okay. We'll see. We'll see what we, we get up to next time. Uh, but until then, uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll, I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.